I used to be a Photoshop master. I was the go-to guy at work for anything Photoshop. I had books on all the uh, advanced techniques for Photoshop, and then uh, I had created hundreds of works of art using it. Um, however, that was some time ago, like 1998. Towards the end of that year, I had a bit of a problem. My hard drive blew up on me. At which point I lost my copy of Photoshop. I had long since lost the, uh, the install disks. I built a new computer and I decided to go get a new copy of Photoshop and then I discovered it was really expensive. So instead of buying Photoshop, I went with an open source alternative. And I've been using that for about 20 years now and it's pretty good. However, Adobe recently announced a sort of cheaper way to acquire Photoshop, something that's considerably more affordable, at least over the short period of time. Now it used to be to get Photoshop you'd had to go down to the big box store and uh, pick it off the shelves and uh, take it up to the um, counter and pay for it. Yeah, you don't do that anymore. You still can get Photoshop from places like uh, However, Amazon. as you can see, it's still pretty expensive. And the version they have here is uh, Adobe Photoshop CS6, which was the last version before the, the, the current way uh, Adobe does it. And it's probably about 10 years old. Now, originally Photoshop was just called Photoshop. Uh, Photoshop 2, 3, 4, uh, version numbers after the name. Eventually they changed it to this Adobe Photoshop CS, which stood for Creative Suite. So now, Photoshop has a new version, and this is the one that's a little bit more affordable. It's called Photoshop CC. That stands for uh, Creative Cloud, by the way. Okay, so to uh, get Photoshop, I'm going to start here. I'm back at my web browser here, which is still left on the Adobe Photoshop CS6 and Amazon. And I want you to remember this price real quick. That's the just over $1,700. Um, now, to get uh, the new version of Photoshop, you have to go to the Adobe website. Uh, you could go straight to adobe.com and then search around until you get to the right page. Uh, on my web page, though, at uh, fineartbydaniel.com, I have a resources link. And the very first, now I have a whole bunch of resources here, of course, that you can use. But the very first one is Photoshop. And if you click here, it will take you to Adobe's website and specifically to where you pick up um, Photoshop. Now, there's other things you can get with these various plans. Now, also, one thing I want to point out, this, uh, this particular link here is an affiliate link. So if you do click on it and buy something from Adobe... I get a small commission at no additional cost to you. And if you do that, thank you very much for supporting me. You don't have to, though. You can go straight to adobe.com and find the Creative Cloud plans and whatnot. So anyway, you have uh, four options that you see here. Uh, even this lowest one, though, the $9.99 a month, has Photoshop, Photoshop CC. Uh, this single app thing, you could get Photoshop this way if you want to pay an extra $10 a month for it. Um, I guess you do get along with that, the 100 gigabytes of space. But really, I wouldn't use this option unless you wanted to get something like Illustrator or some some higher up applica uh, application that they have. I don't really use any of these except Photoshop, though. So um, I would go with this. Now, you could also go with something really expensive, which is like all of their products. And uh, all of their products plus Adobe Stock, which I imagine is not like stock exchange stock but rather stock photos um, if you like to use uh, stock photos and assemble them together so anyway I'm going to choose this plan now you have a couple of things you can choose from uh, I imagine each one increases the cost uh, yeah this one's just Lightroom this one's just Photoshop each giving you a terabyte of space though of cloud storage um, I'm hoping that I don't actually need any cloud storage. I'm just going to keep my own uh, image files on my hard drive and then perhaps uh, I save them off to something like Google Drive or something like, or my a thumb drive or something like that. Oh yeah, I wanted to make sure that I, I pointed this out. Um, you could play for an entire year up front, which is one nineteen eighty eight. Or nine ninety nine a month, which I'm pretty sure is the same exact cost over the course of twelve months. Let's bring up my calculator here. So uh, nine ninety nine times twelve. I'm sure you could do this in your head. One nineteen eighty eight. So there's no difference in costs. Um, I think 
I will just pay for it monthly because it feels easier to pay $10 a month. Uh, one last thing I'd like to mention here is the uh, $9.99, by the way. If we were to go back and look at the Amazon page where it was uh, $1,700, that would be equivalent to about 170 months of this subscription. So if you use this for a really long time, you're going to end up losing out. But for the most part, it's definitely the cheaper way to go. It's not too hard to pay 10 bucks a month. All right, so I'm going to enter my email. Um, this is the email that I use uh, for my newsletters. If you should happen to get them, this is where you see that they come from. Um, if I want to change to the prepay the annual here, I can. That was an option I had on the page before. Um, I have no interest in Adobe stock images, but you might. So you can always add some here. I don't really know exactly how that program works, though. And then you have here your terms of use, privacy policy, and that you're going to get emails from Adobe. Nobody ever reads these. I imagine they're pretty standard, though, the privacy policy and the terms of use. But anyway, in case you just want to be sure, you can always check them out. Uh, and then I'm going to continue. Okay, here's where I enter my payment. Um, Yes, I have a couple of buttons here to place a secure order. It's a little strange. Uh, if I want to review the subscription and cancellation terms, there's a link here I can do a left click on. Uh, this double is a double check to make sure you're buying the right thing. Yes, we're buying the Creative Cloud, Creative Cloud Photography Plan. And again, if it wants to change to an annual plan or a paid monthly, so they they really want you to to switch if you can, I guess. Um, and you have the option of paying with the credit or debit card or PayPal. Um, I am going to pay with my credit card. So uh, I'm going to enter my information here. Um, first name, last name, credit card number, all this kind of fun stuff which I'm not going to show you, of course. Uh, what I'm going to do is enter that information and then click here to place my secure order. So we're going to jump ahead a little bit. Okay, so instead of paying with my credit card, I wound up actually going with PayPal because it turns out they don't accept Discover, which is my only credit card that I use. So uh, I went in, entered my PayPal information, um, and now I'm about to place my secure order. Okay, so thank you for your purchase. I have an order number. The amount I'm being charged, and this is going to my PayPal account in this case. Um, I'm going to get a confirmation link to my Outlook.com uh, e email address. All right, so I've jumped over here to my Outlook.com account where I've got my email from Adobe Systems Incorporated thanking me for my purchase, and I here I can click to confirm my account. So I'm going to left click on that. All right, so Lightroom CC is downloading now. Um, what I really want is Photoshop, though, so I was a little worried about that, and I don't see Photoshop here. Uh, thanks for your purchase of Creative Cloud. Your download also includes Creative Cloud desktop app, so you can keep Lightroom CC up to date and install other apps. Um, I'm not going to install Lightroom because I don't really want that. Uh, da, 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 da. To install the other apps in your plan, go to the Creative Cloud Desktop app. So, looks like you have to install Lightroom first, and then maybe we can get the Photoshop. So, I'll click on the uh, installation there, and we have to sign in to continue. So, I imagine that this is my username or password that I entered just a moment ago. All right, well, help us provide you with the right experience and learning content, all questions required. Well, I don't know anything about Lightroom, so I'll say I'm a beginner, personal user, myself only, continue. The option, blah, blah, blah. Okay, we'll start installing. So it took a good while to install Lightroom. Um, 
and you can't quite see the whole thing because it kind of uh, overruns the uh, the sides of my video capture area. But there's this slideshow here, and you can go through what uh, Lightroom does. But I'm not really interested in Lightroom, so I'm going to close it up, and then I'm going to start up the Adobe Creative Cloud. So let's see. I'm still looking for the Photoshop, which is what I was looking for, which I, what I intended to get in the first place. So here I have apps, and here, let me make sure I have this in the right area. I can choose to install Lightroom Classic and Photoshop CC. That's what I really want. So I'm going to pick to choose Photoshop CC. And then I imagine it's going to take quite a bit of time. So we'll, uh, I'll take a quick break and then come back when it's done. Okay, so it finished uh, loading. It says, uh, oh, set up to date and then it just jumped to open. So now I can open Photoshop there. And I imagine, um, yeah, it's appeared in my menu over here. So let's see if we were successful and if we can run it. It does appear to be loading. Uh, it's, it's getting a little bit out of the screen here. And that's just because my uh, screen capture software doesn't capture the whole screen. It only does the upper quadrant. All right, so uh, this looks like some version of Photoshop. It doesn't look like what I recognize as it, but it's been some time. So let's see if we can do something new. Art and illustration. 18 by 24 at 300 ppi. That's going to be huge. Let's do this one here. A 2000 by 2000 pixel grid and see what we get. All right, this looks sort of like Photoshop. Let's see if I can find a draw tool. That looks like one right here. All right, I'm going to try to see if I have like a, what was that? A neat little animation to show you how to do stuff. All right, so we'll pick that draw tool and draw with it. And hey, look at that. I'm drawing in Photoshop. All right, so it was a little bit of a longer journey than I expected to actually download and install Photoshop, but I, I managed to do it. So um, yeah, that's how it's done. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, if you're looking to get Photoshop, um, I hope it helped out. So thank you very much, and good night. Hey everybody, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, and you want to find out more about some of my art and other things I do, come visit my webpage, fineartbydaniel.com. I have an art gallery here that you can visit and see uh, some of my best art. Um, a blog so you can see uh, what, what I'm doing currently. Uh, and also a gift shop if you want to buy mugs, phone cases, various things featuring my art. You can, of course, contact me and subscribe to my newsletter here as well. I uh, also wanted to mention my resources page, particularly useful. Uh, this will give you links to various things I use for creating art, um, my own guide for selling art online, uh, a variety of other things. Um, so yeah, check it out. And thanks everybody for watching my video and have a good evening.